Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everyone is doing great today. Uh, today I want to talk about my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and the Apple Watch Ultra. So, for some reason, Samsung and Apple are playing switcheroo with marketing terms. Uh, usually Samsung is the Ultra phone peeps, and so... And vice versa for Apple, usually Apple is the Pro, right? You got the Apple iPhone 14 Pro, you got the iPad Pro, lots of Pro stuff, MacBook Pros, Mac Pros, and Samsung usually has the Ultra, like the S22 Ultra is probably the most known for them. So I'm not sure why Samsung decided to go for Pro and why the heck apple decided to go ultra so you know i was wondering what is the difference between ultra and pro here and so you know let's kind of go through what the ultra has a little bit different than their regular series of apple watches and first of course is titanium and of course the pro has titanium and then we have full sapphire uh, screen glass cover glass on here and of course on here we have full sapphire cover glass uh, we have a bigger long lasting battery compared to the last one and on here we have a longer lasting battery compared to the regular galaxy watch 5 even longer lasting battery than the ultra so maybe pro is better than ultra i'm not real sure they're both thick and chunky uh, the apple created a second button and of course we have two buttons here on the Pro, so I don't know, they seem to be very similar, so what makes Ultra Ultra? You know, I was trying to think about it, and maybe it's the watch band. So the Apple Watch Ultra was released with very specific watch bands, specifically for the Ultra. Came with three different types of bands, uh, an Alpine Loop, some kind of ocean one, Ocean Band, I think it's called, and then the Trail Loop. When I bought my Ultra, it came with the Alpine Loop. Uh, unfortunately, this was a small, so it is way too small for my hand. So I've actually not used this one, but we can use this as a comparison. So what I wanted to try to do is let's see if we can make the Pro an Ultra by putting Ultra Bands on there. <laughs> And of course, I jest here a little bit, uh, guys, uh, but, you know, third parties have come through and have given us basically uh, clones of the Ultra Band. So I wanted to try those on our Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and see how Ultra we can make this watch here. So I have the Alpine Loop here for comparison. It's the only one I have. So we will start with the Alpine Loop. So let's take a look at this real quick. This, I think, is supposed to be for hikers. Uh, you can tell it's pretty much kind of the same situation, kind of a stretchy band with these little loops, like alpine loops in here. So that probably is where it gets its name. And then it has this little clasp here. And from what I understand, you, you put this on and then you clasp it somehow. I've never actually used this, so let's take a look. So first things first, it does come with a bag with the pins in it. It didn't come installed with the pins, so I'm gonna need to install those really quick. I do like this one because it's gonna be a no gap install, so I like that, that should be cool. And of course I got orange because I do have a orange fetish apparently so let me slide these in here all right let's take this off so just if you're wondering here i got the d buckle um not the original samsung d buckle but the d buckle you can get for significantly cheaper is what i got on here today and we will pop that guy off and i'm gonna put this on bottom first let's see here yeah this is a little floppy i'll figure it out here these single loop bands are always a little bit more difficult because you got the band in your way when you're putting it on and like two separate straps, but um, I switch bands so much. Okay, so I honestly don't know if that's the right direction, but let's see if we do put it on. So we'll get it on. Whoa, 
Whoa. Okay, so then you gotta pull this guy, and it's kind of like, you know, a trail band. Not a trail band, but like, yeah, a trail band. And then this goes in there like that. And there you go. Now you got it. That is what the knockoff Alpine Loop band looks like. That, that doesn't look too bad. Um, I don't. I wish these weren't the lighter orange. I wish it was the same dark orange as the backside, but uh, pretty good. It feels this one. I, ha I think I'm lucky enough to have this perfectly right on there. Let's see if I can make it a little bit looser. Yeah, either direction works pretty good for me, and that's pretty snug. Actually, that's a pretty good band. That is not bad. I know some people were complaining when I was watching the Apple versions. They couldn't get the quite the right one. is either too tight or too loose, but uh, this one seems pretty good there. The gaps look pretty decent on there. It does look a little odd on this watch, I think. The black one probably would look a little better. But the biggest difference here, I think, obviously is um, these are titanium for the Ultra ones. And so like your class pure is titanium and this band is significantly wider. I would have loved for this to stay as wide as it, as this thing here, but it does not kind of shrinks down a little bit. So it is significantly more narrow. Uh, chunkier band would have been cool for me, but so yeah, there's that one right there. Looks pretty cool. So what do you guys think? Does that make the Pro Ultra? Yeah. What do you think? All right, so then the next one, which apparently was the one that was the hardest to find, is the Alpine Loop. And I think I'll like this one a lot. Uh, this is just your basic Velcro, stretchy uh, Velcro type situation. And it is the same thing. We got our little springy dabs in the bag. We'll throw those on real quick. So. We'll mess with those as soon as I get this one off. So let's see, we just slide that out there, pull that out. I gotta be careful there, that kind of wax that a little bit, but um, should be okay. Let's pop this off. And let's get these out of here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, not too bad. Let's put this baby on. You just kind of pull this towards you, I guess, and pull it along. There you go. Now, Ultra Trail Loop. So this is called the Trail Loop. And as you can tell, it has like the little, let's see, one, two, three, four, five little gripper, Velcro-y kind of things. And put it on there. Well, I can tell you right now, this is like a super comfortable band. And that color looks cool looks good with my orange and my watch face kind of cruise around here yeah i like that bottom again i wish it was a little bit thicker uh, but this is still pretty cool and what we got here we got the gaps no gaps looks pretty good no gaps here looks really good the black looks better i think than the orange on this particular color I uh, look really good with the black. So what do you think? I think the trail loop band makes the pro ultra. Hmm. And then the last one here is the ocean band. This one comes with instructions. That's uh, never a good sign. Uh, looks like, yeah, I remember now looking at the Apple Watch Ultra Ocean, and this is definitely what that one's kind of like. You got this like little loopy thing here. You got to put on. All right, well, let's see what we got here. So this one is not gapless. I can see that now. Here's this little thing that looks like, okay, I see how that works. You just kind of pull it out of there. That shouldn't be a problem. This is like a silicone-y, rubbery, and it's just really rubbery silicone and it's got that like bumpy thing on there i think it's kind of the um telltale sign of this ocean loop here so let's see what we got here let's pull this one back off this should come off super easy and it will actually come all the way out so that's cool uh, okay so now let's pull this guy off now these come right out so you're gonna have to make sure anytime you switch bands you keep an eye on this it's gonna be like 
like girls having to keep track of the back of their earrings, right? <clears throat> ah, okay. So let's just toss that over there. This one's your normal single single loop here or single class, single pin. So that should be no problem. Short band usually goes on the front the top. So back here, gapless, but I think the gapless is totally worth it here. There we go. There we go. So let's put this on. Looks like a regular band so far. Just kind of stick it on there. And these kind of like, this kind of like locks in, like see how it like clicks into place there. That feels pretty good. And then, okay, I see here. So now we're gonna have to move this up, up. Let's see, we got hole there. We're gonna have to move it up uh, like three holes. So see if I can do it on me, which I can, looks like pretty easily. And bam, like that. So let me pop it in there like that. Bam, there you go, ocean loop, ocean band. Again, I wish it was wider. I mean, you can see how much wider this one is. I wish it was that wide. I think they could have, you know, kind of flared that right here and made it wide. I think it would look cooler for sure. But ocean band, what do you guys think? Looks pretty good. It's, it's reasonably comfortable. From what I've seen from people that have these, this is probably the most comfortable version of the ultra bands. So what do you guys think? Do you think this one makes it ultra? Yeah, I'm not real sure. Anyways, these are pretty reasonably priced. The Alpine Loop version of this this band here comes in some pretty cool colors. Uh, right now it's 48% off, lowest price in seven or three days. Now we are, uh, this is Black Friday when I'm filming this, so that could have something to do with it. Um, it says a list price of $20. I seriously doubt you would ever pay $20 for this particular one, but it does have black, green, and then that orange, and then a uh, creamish starlight color, uh, which, you know, I think now I'm looking at that, I think that would have probably looked really good with this particular watch. So uh, 1038 for the Alpine Loop. And here we go for the Trail Loop, was, was what they're calling that. Um, of course, they don't call it that. It's just an island watch band, but this is definitely a complete uh, clone of that. And you can tell there are a few colors here. You got the blue and gray, which looks pretty cool. And then the, uh, that yellow and kind of cream color. And then the black and orange. And then black kind of grayish, uh, which is what I got here. That's the one you just saw your black and gray. 12 bucks, so 11.98. Pretty cheap on that one. And then the ocean band. Ocean band here, um, I got it in white because I dig white. Uh, this one's super cheap. It was 12 bucks, but right now apparently this is a Black Friday deal. Six fifty. I should have waited and bought these, huh? Uh, but it comes in a ton of different colors: black, midnight. Yeah, you got your pink here. I uh, got a red color, which is cool. Uh, then there's there's that starlight, and then of course white is which was what I got here. The starlight might look pretty good too. Now that I'm looking at these again. It looks like it's gapless, so I'm pretty sure that's probably why I thought I'd buy that. Was it, I thought it was gapless, but you can tell right there, guys, that is not gapless. So, a bit of false advertising here, <laughs> but you know what do you expect for twelve bucks compared to I believe a hundred dollars uh, for the Apple version of these bands. So, tell me what you guys think. Does uh, the Ultra bands make this Ultra? And you know, while you're at it, do you think? Ultra is the right name for the Apple Watch, or should it have been a bit of Pro and the Galaxy been the Ultra? I'd like to hear what you guys think. But till then, thanks for staying to the end. That's all I got for you today, and I will see you on the next one.